What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about The Wolf Among Us 2 and talk about why I want the game to be episodic, come out episodically, uh, you know, online, however they want to do it, and why I think that would be the best idea. So, you know, the first thing I do want to say is this. You don't have to agree with me. Maybe that's the first, first thing I say, right? You don't have to agree with me. These are just my opinions, and if you disagree, you know, that's completely cool. I'm not a channel that, you know, throws people, you know, out, out the window if they don't agree. Um, number two... I just want the game, you know what I mean? So if it comes out, I don't care how it comes out, to be quite honest with you, I just want it to uh, release a huge Telltale fan, especially kind of that early day Telltale, as well as, you know, Wolf Among Us, a fantastic game, one of their absolute best. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely, you know, top, Eh, top three, top four, I would argue. So let's get into it. Uh, I, I'm a big advocate for episodic uh, gaming. Now, here's the deal. Uh, number one, again, like I want the game to come out, you know, period. I don't care really how it comes out. But we've seen a trend in the gaming industry really over the last, I'd say, really, well, I would argue ever since Telltale, you know, died, right? Ever since they imploded because of bankruptcy and a lot of other issues, that was really the death probably of episodic games. Um, there has been some here and there, none that have really, like I would call them more indie titles, right? There has been, you know, episodic games that have released the past couple of years, but very, very few, none that have made a splash really as big as the biggest Telltale, I would say like Tales from the Borderlands, even like Batman, uh, Minecraft, I'd even argue, you know, Wolf Among Us, Walking Dead, stuff like that. None of them, you know, none of the games that have come out have really made uh, an impact in the way that those games did or even I would say like life is strange going to like don't not at the time so uh, you know there's that and that's a a very valid argument and I don't I don't blame them you know what I mean and, and if the wolf among us 2 comes out and it's not episodic I don't blame them just like true colors life is strange true colors coming out I don't blame it for coming out in a full game I just think they're missing something by having you know that happen and not everybody's going to agree with that and, and trust me when I made the video on life is strange not everybody did agree I just think and, and okay we're really missing something in my opinion when it comes to episodic gaming I would argue and I would compare it to television because it kind of is right where I do get it there's different factions there are the people that wait Till okay, so like episodes can come out for something, and there'll be people that wait till the last episode comes out and then binge watch the entire thing. There'll be people that prefer that it just all comes out one day. You know, I guess the first for some reason, like 13 reasons why, okay, on Netflix. That's the first one that comes to my mind. Judge me how you will, but like that, or really a lot of Netflix shows, right? They'll all come out, or Witcher, right? They'll all come out the exact same time, and you can just binge them. That definitely has a place. That definitely has pros. And I would argue, though, it definitely has cons. Okay, I would argue for both. You can make those arguments. Now, you go to the other side of people, right? For, for again, for television shows. TV shows come out. There are people that really like the idea that an episode comes out and then a week later, week later, and, and it builds something. I am a fan of momentum and building. Okay, it's kind of just, I wouldn't even say it's my preference. To be flat out, so you can call me like a hypocrite all you want, which honestly, I, I don't even know if I would say you're wrong. I... I honestly kind of like both. Like, I, I I liked The Witcher coming out and just watching them all, you know, in the same day. Actually, I watched Witcher within, like, two and a half days. I just watched the whole thing. Like, I, I can do that, and I have really no problem with that. At the same time, I do like methodical kind of building where it's every single week, and you can kind of talk about it online, or you can build up. There's also pros and cons to that, right? Because if there's filler episodes, if there's things bad, you know, you can get caught up in that. And then you have to wait an entire week for the next one to happen, right? Episodic gaming is really, it is the pros, I would say, and cons of episodic TV magnified to like 100. And what I mean by that is, you know, if it's not a consistent upload schedule, it's just completely, you know, from the beginning, it's garbage. It was an issue Walking Dead had. It was an issue loads of Telltale games had that they tried to fix for the, you know, the final season of Walking Dead, to which then they were closed and, you know, uh, development was kind of switched over. But even, like, Life is Strange, the first season did it really well before the storm did it really well. But then Life is Strange 2 was a complete gar... I mean, it was a dumpster fire in terms of the release schedule. I, I could not have thought of a worse way of doing it than Life is Strange 2. You know, Wolf Among Us is in a difficult spot, right? Because if it doesn't come out consistently, it's almost immediately already a bad thing. So if, if they come out and they say, well, we're going to do, C you know, episode one, but, you know, 
every two to three months. And, but, like, I don't like that at all. I need release dates. I need, sp I need like, to know you're going to nail these spots. Otherwise, if you're going to give me windows, nine times out of ten, Telltale has never done well with that, right? They always kind of delay it or it never makes it. I, you can't do that. The thing that actually does work with TV is it's reoccurring. It's every Thursday at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern, right? You know to expect whatever show it is, okay? You know that, and, and that sometimes doesn't even help it, but, I mean, it's definitely there, okay? So, you know, I'm actually spending more of this video kind of going against what I want. The thing is, I again, in terms of, like, momentum and building things, I think it can work work really well if done right. Life is Strange, the first season, is always kind of my go-to. Obviously, like, Walking Dead, and I would even argue Wolf Among Us as well, but I believe Life is Strange is technically the newer of all those games. Life is Strange just did so well with kind of promising when we were supposed to get episodes, and for the most part, delivering every single time. In fact, one of the times, it came out earlier than expected, which was a, it's a rarity even now in the gaming industry. And, and I just think... If done right, it's potential, and maybe it's because I'm a YouTuber, quote unquote, right, where I make these videos and I talk, maybe it's because of that, where it's like, well, if you play episode one, you can kind of all go online, you can float your theories, you can have discussions, you can talk about the good, you can talk about the bad, and you can predict and kind of have fun with what comes next. And yes, does that get amplified, maybe if you're in this YouTube space? I'm sure it does. I'm not going to lie, right? But I think just in general, it has its advantages, just the same as television. Um, the issue is, you know, weekly is kind of manageable because you don't have to wait that long. In a game, it tends to be a lot longer, right? The minimum is kind of like monthly. You may get an episode a month, like the first week of every month, you may get an episode. Most times, it's longer than that. And then again, when it gets really away from you, like actually, I believe, didn't the Wolf Among Us, the first uh, game, that one did have an issue between episode one and two. Two was delayed where two came out like four or five months after episode. I'm pretty sure that happened to it. Um, Life is Strange 2, again, is a really good example. Those games came out two months, one month, five months. I mean, there was just, it, it, it came out within a year and a half. Episode one to five came out a year and a half apart, which is disgustingly bad. You know what I mean? So you can run into those issues big time, but if you do it right, and granted, by the way, if you come out with like the full game, if you can like work it into chapters, just split it up and then just release it episode. You could actually release things weekly. I don't I don't understand how it's never happened before. I really don't. And maybe it has and I've just never seen it. Is it that difficult to basically make the full game and then just split it up five times or three times or four, you know, however many times, just split it up and release it weekly, bi-weekly, once a month? Just do that. You know what I mean? I I get that what we're talking about with past Telltale or even like Life is Strange, they're kind of working on the fly. And that, you know, tends to run into disasters like Telltale kind of experience where, you know, you do an episode, but you're not even done with the next episode yet. When episode one comes out, you're mostly done with two, but you're not really, and you're kind of like just starting episode three. So like if there's issues there, those are going to get delayed. You can never really predict those things. There's holidays. There's different months you're jumping over. Things can get messy. I don't know why they never thought of just delaying it, you know, don't or don't give a date, del uh, you know, push it until you have maybe three or four out of five episodes done, maybe three fully done and you're, you're almost done with four and then just start releasing them like monthly or, or every two weeks where you know you'll be able to nail that. I think that's kind of the best of both worlds because you're not going to be, you know, you're kind of sitting on the episodes, but you're not, you know, you're, you're not working on them on the fly. Episode two comes out and they're like, oh my God, we need to change this choice of three. But Bob, it, it releases next week. You're not going to have that. Don't do that, right? Because that's not going to you know, be anything. It's going to be good uh, to literally anybody. But like, find a happy medium where you can guarantee the releases in certain times. If they can manage it and if they do it, like literally how I'm saying, if they could come up with you know my pitch, if that can literally be reality, I think it would work really well. And again, maybe that's just my preference that I think a game like Wolf Among Us, I do think episodic games uh, in the video game industry can work really well. But again, they got to be super consistent. No delays at any point. And I get that's tough, right? But no delays at all. 
come out at at worst once a month, but like consistently. So if it's the first Friday, it needs to be the first Friday of every month. Not, okay, first Friday, and then the next month, it's the second Wednesday, and then the month after, it's the third Sunday. You know, like nothing garbage like that. Very consistent, uh, and, and, and go from there. I think that would work really well. So I'm hoping for it. Honestly, I'm kind of rooting for Wolf Among Us 2 to be episodic. Um, I think there's been rumors that it would come out just in one full game. Obviously, Life is Strange True Colors did the same thing. So we'll have to see. I'm sure we'll get our answer probably the next time the game is shown. You know, the second time the game is shown, I think they'll probably tell us. And so we just have to wait and see. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. I will be covering more about Wolf Among Us 2. I've, I've covered it a bunch over the last couple years as well. But as soon as we get more stuff, I'll be uh, making videos. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my second channel, or support us on Patreon or YouTube memberships. The links for all of that stuff are in the description below, okay? Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all on the next video.